guys, we're here on the side of the road and we just found an extremely rare and elusive orange crayfish. Jimmy. Oh. <laughs> Let's investigate. You getting B-roll? Where how are we getting into this place? Um, I saw a rock bed over here. Okay, you think so. we can we think we can just slide in over here? Yeah. Okay, we can't go that way. But we can go down here. This way? <laughs> I'm walking up for poison ivy. Uh, I got a short point. They came down. They came down the other side. Right here. Look at all that habitat. Yeah. The habitat is real out here. Only the finest for the orange crayfish. Oh, you think oh, we yeah. can? Right? Oh, perfect. Ah, oh, you're I stuck. You're stuck. I got it. You're stuck. You good? Wow. All right, so here's one right here. Oh, there's more. <gasps> oh, look at the snake too. What? <laughs> So much nature. Oh, he darted off. Oh, that's beautiful. We'll try not to spook him. You can see the crawfish right in the back right there. Yeah, look at him. That's so funny that we found him the first time. Yeah. The first thing, we had this whole plan. We had this whole plan to drive like 50 more miles to go to this one spot to find these orange crayfish. <laughs> um, but Chris decided to take just like a stop at this random creek on the way. And I mean, first stop, boom, he sees it right off the bridge. Yep, so. yep. <laughs> now look at Corey. This is crazy, is he the water? <laughs> All right, let's go, let's go get him. My dudes! Look at, look at the people that don't We have, have the whole family here. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, man. Oh no! Are you okay, Corey? Oh, I'm all right, fine. You all right? Oh, Dude, I just missed. Burr. I just missed. Joel, did you get that? Oh, God. Look at that. Huh? Those are so cool. Yeah. I got it back. So tell us, Chris. I started the video already. I, all right. This is so this Chris is Luke up, and he is hey, man, the shrimp king. Well, in fact. I started working with crayfish like 20 years ago and it's called Pacif Astacus Lenniusculus Clamatensis. It's, it is um, native, but the bright orange color shows me that it's Clamatensis. So, and here we have a male. These two, this, these are the gonopet, gonopets. Ow. Let go! <laughs> Ow. You want one more? No! <laughs> I'm just trying to hold it so you can show the female. <laughs> Let me, let me take that. Yeah, he's not letting go. He's gonna pinch me with the other one. Okay, I have the camera. So let me put the camera down and then I can take it in a second. This is a female, you can see she has no gonopods. gonopods. And these are the, the sticks here. He's trying to get me, no, 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 no. Yeah, he learned from the one got me. Yeah. So the females don't have that. The difference between male and female, you can see it here, clearly. But I wonder that they're out during the day. This is not normal, especially if you are bright orange, you don't do that. So yeah. there's probably no fish in here. You know, like if it comes to be brightly colored, it seems like that would stick out to all the predators. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, usually cave crayfish are orange because in the cave color doesn't matter. Little, I got a little wet. But <laughs> I am really, it's like, whoa, you know, I, I collected like 500 crayfish species around the planet yeah. in the last 20 years, but it's just seen during the day. Just during the day. The water is very clear. A lot of oxygen. You can see here a lot of the ripples. And they're just wandering around. Let's put them in the water. You yeah, see. I found a. There's like a really good ones over there. You know, my like keys get wet. Look at so that. we can. He's got a little wet. We can take some underwater photos here. Because with the clear water, back. that's not yeah, a problem. You can see this guy has two different keys. So one was already removed when he was smaller like yeah. what happened here exactly. yeah so you see different sizes so this is the new one and it's probably took him like four four to five maltings to have uh, it like that because probably it was gone totally and this is the original one just take care that you don't step on the guy that's the female over there she's going home complaining that though. she lost an arm Awesome. You know what? I will take this to take underwater photos. No, this is different. This is another species, it's not the trumpet. Yeah, there's a bunch of them you can see right on the yep. rocks. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I thought they might have been like the periwinkle things, and I just picked one up. I was like, oh, that's not a periwinkle. That's pretty amazing, I think. 
Water here is really cold. What, what would you say? No, it's not cold. It's, it's just... not super cold. But it's probably like 55 or 60 degrees. Like it's it's way colder than you want it to be yeah. when you're in it. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> it just looked really, really nice. Yeah, let's go see if we can find that snake again. <laughs> oh, under this time, Jimmy. Wait, no, this is a horrible idea. I'm doing it. Oh, wow. Underwater footage dominating. <laughs> oh, so many fish. Oh, we're going deep. <laughs> what do you see over there, Corey? Nothing yet, but I want to get it underwater over here into all the brush. This is where you're like, oh, the big ones are over here, hell! <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Look at that puppy. Uh, keep it still. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't know if it was going to be instantaneous or it was going to take three or four hours to find him, but. No, no, I always go with my feelings and good that I stopped here. You can have a piercing, you know, like. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be brave? Amazing. So, Chris, this is just. This is one of probably not too many crayfish that you haven't photographed yourself that's why exactly. we're out here on the strip yes okay. it's just a subspecies but the the orange color i knew that there is um like 10 years ago somebody told me that they're all orange in this area and i always wanted to come but it's difficult to go for just one species like 2000 miles or something but uh yeah now now that i'm here i can see that they are really really beautiful they are beautiful. Yeah. Very cool creatures. We saw some brown ones too. Those are yes. just... Uh, no, it's the same species. I same thought species? first it's, it's a different species, but I looked at them and it's the same. It's juvenile, so not all of them are orange. It's probably like 50% of the adult ones are orange and the juveniles probably more brownish. But uh, anyway, I mean, that's amazing. So there's probably no really big fish in this stream. So the big ones, the, the small ones probably get selected out. But maybe it has something to do with... Look. See? If you put it underwater, it could be a leaf also. So this could be the reason why they are orange. Look at that. Another one. Everybody's really spread out right now in this little area checking stuff out. You can see Corey's over here trying to set up his phone to, I guess he found some fish or something. Jimmy's over there taking pictures of a snake. I, I don't know, Joel's over here. Chris is MIA, he's probably like a mile up the up this stream, but I found some still water over here with something that is kind of interesting. So over here, in this little pocket of still water, there's a bunch of these little water skipper bugs that are flying around the little breaks that you see. But then there's also some moss that looks pretty interesting. It could just be terrestrial moss that's, you know, covered in water, but there is some down in here as well that looks like, let's get some of the mud off of it. Let that clear up a little bit. It looks like it's, alive i mean it looks like it's doing just fine so an aquatic moss maybe obviously it can grow in both situations it looks pretty good let's see if that's cleared up a little bit i mean it's green that's a good sign some right there as well and it's kind of all over the place but you can see that it's, it's also growing up here it doesn't appear to be the same stuff that's on the tree but who knows that's part of the fun of exploring environments like this is you find all kinds of stuff in weird places that you might not expect so that's pretty cool would it grow in your aquarium i don't know maybe probably not i would assume maybe not because this water is a lot colder than what you would have your aquarium at but who knows cool there's like a sculpting thing there's minnows there's uh lots of crayfish over in that corner, under yeah. the under the, the minnows want to attack all your your leg hair. <laughs> they they get food, so I had like 30 minnows just nipping away at me. That's funny. It's pretty cool. So hopefully the underwater footage turns out, but it's <clears throat> it's pretty cool. Yeah, this is sweet. That's 
it's also male. Also regenerated Kila here, but see difference in color. This is more brown. You lost your pincher too. But it grew back. He's got a he's got like a little T-Rex pincher, you know? <laughs> T-Rex arm pincher. Small. Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping that there's a real big one here, but it's there too. Yeah, maybe one like under the concrete block seems yes. like a good spot for him. Yeah. Because this this is the best places here to hide for them. As those little rocks over there. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful place. It is. Look at that. I mean, with the ferns and mosses on the tree, it's great. There's some minnows down there, guys. Don't know if you can see those. The water bugs are kind of distracting. But when I look with my own eye, I can see them. Hard to see through the LCD on the camera. But they're just like some little gray minnows. Pretty much no color, but still pretty cool, to say the least. Real talk, though. Rainbow fish would love to destroy these bugs. Can you imagine, like, just the best live food ever, probably? This is really cool. So beautiful, so peaceful. Nature, man. And, and, and highway noises. <laughs> but it's all good. We're having a good time out here. Joel's trying not to fall in the water. Give us a pose, sir. Yeah, don't draw that. Jeez. How far are you willing to go out into that deep water? You might get you might get sucked in. Yo, check out this dwarf hair grass, guys. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, and then we got some uh, extremely rare wide leaf immersed grown high grow pinnatophyta out here. Okay. That's poison ivy. It. <laughs> oh, that might be though. That's poison oak. Joel, have you ever seen this type of Amazon sword before? <laughs> Look at those leaves, dude. Man, immersed, immersed stuff just grows weird. Emergent. You know? It's emergent, bro. It's above the water line. You can tell because there's no water here. Yeah, there isn't. But there is over there. Right. So, why isn't it growing in the water? I don't get it. Nature's confusing. Nature's scary. Nature's very scary. <laughs> I saw a black panther over here like five minutes ago. Yo, look at this log though. Log, plant, water, vine, Joel, bamboo stick, rock, more plant, more Joel, <laughs> live moss, dead moss, firewood, really big log, nature. I found some Japan clover. <laughs> look at that. Dude, <laughs> we might have to take some of that back home with us, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just kidding, guys. Oh, check, dude. This is straight up, this is Luguigia Repens. I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking. Yeah, I'm kind of joking. Look at it, though. Rip. Yeah. Look at this, dude. You didn't even know this is at our feet, too. What, a snake? Wounded warrior. Oh, crayfish down. Whew. He's an old one. He probably died of old age, though. I'm his, just guessing. His head was eaten open. Yeah, maybe by a um, <laughs> bird. By a bird, maybe. A bird man. Got him. Well, dude, don't go anywhere. Let's get a close up. What What'd you name him? Oh, I didn't use the net. <laughs> <laughs> I've named him Sparky. It's a good crayfish name. I found Sparky in nature. Foot. Wait, what? Should I let him bite you? I mean, maybe. Should I take one for the team? With his pincers? Should I take one for the team? You could go go for his little pincers down here. I mean, I might have to chicken out and do a little pincer because... I wouldn't do it. You don't, yeah. He'll we just, don't want to aggravate him. He'll just pinch you. It's a good then, excuse. Nobody, no, yeah. nobody will blame me. Nobody <laughs> yeah. will blame me for being a wuss online if it's, it's gonna in there. It's going to aggravate the, the guy. Guys, we don't want to be out here like... Aggravating. aggravating nature, you know what I mean? It's not because I am a wuss and don't want to get pinched by one, you know? All right, well, I'm just chilling on this log here in the middle of uh, 
this stream, Jimmy yelled at me he found a clam, okay? So I don't know how, I don't know how truthful that clam suggestion is. How do you get off that log? I don't know. I also just said clam suggestion, which is not the right, not the right word. <laughs> Let me get off this log. Am I going the right way? Yeah, I am. People are out here making clam suggestions. I gotta get to the bottom of it, man. You don't just find a clam. Oh, that was epic. You got the clam? Freshwater mussel or a clam? Just fed it next to a sculpin. These might be protected, but wow, look at that. Yeah, go put them back before you go to jail. Yep. <laughs> oh, hey, friends. Oh, hey. Is this the spot? What are the odds you would be driving by? Yeah, it's kind of weird. I'm gonna get down there. You're probably trying to hide under your shoe. Yes, yeah. because I'm producing some shadow here and there's nothing to hide except me. Oh my goodness. I mean, the camera there's, is crap, but... No. There's the shot, though. Yeah. This is a good shot that, that you can see the animal, like, majestic, yeah. like, Beefy. I'm the boss. Corey, what's that? What's that? Is that a green crayfish in That's the water? That's right. What is that? Could be the aquarium co-op bat phone. Oh, jeez. Yeah. You're brave, man. The yeah, first time go. he's ever had a cameraman. <laughs> is this thing on? This thing's on. Is it going? Yeah. We've got a cameraman now, guys. Hey, thank you so much for hanging out and catching crayfish with us. Crawfish, however you want to say it. How do you say it, Jimmy? Yeah, leave me hanging. That's Water fine. bugs. Anyway, guys, it's raining. We're under a bridge now. We're hanging out. We're going to go get some warm soup because uh, that's what Corey prescribed. I think that sounds like a good idea. Uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. Is your audio off? No, it's always on. Is it? Yeah. Why? <laughs>